when life is difficult and everything turns bad. Always remember that even a turtle can finish the race as long as he never gives up. And in this pandemic situation of difficulties, I hope you all are safe and sound. A very fresh and charming morning to one and all present here. I am Hazza. And I am Ahna. The outbreak of coronavirus disease has created a global health crisis and a greater impact on people's lives. Though education has had a greater impact, yet our school keeps the doors open for learning by, try, by trying to maintain our education by the online learning system. We, the prefects of Royal International School, are here to conduct today's assembly. Now I call upon the senior prefect, Nirudhika, to give away the school pledge. Keep your right hand on your left hand for the school pledge. We of the Royal International School do hereby pledge to love our alma mater and to study with diligence and dedication in order to prepare ourselves to live in harmony with one another as brothers and sisters to serve and honor our parents, our elders and our motherland with honesty, loyalty and distinction. Thank you. Thank you, Nirdika. Before all, let us hear up some words by a person who always gives directions to our teachers and students in our school. He has been our guiding light and always he encourages the students to give their best. And that is none other than our principal, Mr. A.M. Karunaratna. Our chairperson, Mrs. Sandra Vanduragala, managing director, Mr. Ravinath Pires, vice principal, assistant principal, sectional heads, grade and subject coordinators, my dear teachers, non-academic staff, my dear parents and my dear children. We are very happy that the Prefect Guild has organized an assembly today to commemorate Poson Festival. Actually, the other years we celebrate Poson with the glamour and also with so many religious problems. We, some years we observe sin, some years we have bhakti and so on and so forth. But this year we are unable to celebrate in such a way. Not only person, we have not been able to celebrate, my dear children, the new year, Singhala and Hindu new year, then following the our Vesak festival, then also Hajj festival. My dear children, we have not been able to celebrate all these events because of this COVID-19 pandemic. This pandemic started about three months back and all the Sri Lankan schools were closed for about two and a half months. This pandemic is, has spread all over the world now. It has spread among about more than 188 countries and about six million people in the whole world are infected, affected. And out of this, uh, actually, about 360,000 people have lost their lives because of the pandemic. So in Sri Lanka, we, are, we have been disrupted, our education has been disrupted, the social life has been disrupted, our culture has been disturbed. So this, because of this pandemic, we, our children, our parents, the whole society has faced a calamity. As a responsible school, we started educating our children from the second week after closing. And actually we used uh, various digital methods to educate. We have been using different methods from the beginning and we have reviewed these methods and gradually improved the methods and now we have started uh, online teaching in advanced level classes, O level classes, grade 9s and grade 8s and also there is digital or distance education being implemented at the primary level and also at the pre-primary level. Not only teaching but we actually uh, regard the education of our children, the total education of our children 
and we have uh, we have done and we are still doing various programs uh, regarding motivation uh, to build up culture in our among our children their manners to develop their ethics to develop their thinking all these programs are being done online using different digital methods of teaching my dear parents we are doing our best as a school to compensate during this period of uh, difficulties and we request all the parents also to support our children by providing the facilities for them to follow the classes by providing all other requirements at home and also taking care of our children and loving them and treating them well at home and of course your support to the school also is very much needed at this hour my dear children we have to learn lessons from our experiences now this is a very good experience for us to learn how to treat both triumph and disaster as equal now this somewhat a disastrous period and we have learned to adopt ourselves how to manage this disastrous time and when there is a challenge it is very important that we our we develop our self discipline very much if a nation is self discipline it is very easy to meet and defeat this kind of challenge in a way we are very fortunate that we have we are exposed to a different paradigm of learning because of this uh, difficult time now this method of learning the distance uh, method of learning we can carry on even in future when we face problems of this nature before i conclude my speech i would like to pay my gratitude and thanks to all the teachers that have committed and they have taken up their responsibilities very well during this uh, past two and a half months and we have done our best towards our students and the teachers have cooperated and committed themselves not only the teachers but the the other staff the non academic staff uh, and the it department then the the other departments of the school the supporting staff all these have helped us and i would like to pay i would like to thank them too i can't forget the management of the school our chairperson madam vandragala our md mr ravinath peeris and all the other management staff has helped in this venture and i am very much thankful to everybody who has rendered their help and thank you all and and i thank all the parents for their support and i wish all of you a very good future and i hope very soon we will start real teaching till then my dear children my dear parents and my dear staff please stay safe and happy thank you anole bhakti gi is celebrated by the buddhists on the posen poi day in sri lanka it is a great significance as it marks the arrival of buddhists in sri lanka Now my friend Chatney will be here to deliver a speech on Poson Poi Day. Never give up. Today is hard, tomorrow will be worse, but the day after tomorrow it will be sunshine. Said the great philosopher the Lord Buddha. A very good morning to everyone. We are in the 6th month of the Sinhalese Buddhist calendar and it is also known as the Poson month. On the full moon day in the month of Poson, millions of Buddhists all over Sri Lanka celebrate the Poson festival. Poson is a significant annual event in the Sri Lankan Buddhist calendar which consecrates the arrival of Buddhism to Sri Lanka in the 3rd century BC during the reign of King Devanam Keetisa. Poson is celebrated all over the country while the main events are being held in Anuradhapura and in Mihinthali. The focal point of this religious festival is the Buddhist monastic complex on the mountain of Mihinthali where Arhat Mahinda preached Buddhism to King Devanam Keetisa. After a discussion with Arhat Mahinda and King Devanam Pietisa, 
the king of Sri Lanka embraced Buddhism and made it the official religion of the country. Poson is celebrated all over the country, proceeding with so many ceremonial activities like Buddhist sermons, pandals, parahara, hanging and lighting of lanterns, giving dancers, and many more. Although Poson is celebrated, uh, although Poson Poson is celebrated as above across the country. The main event is a mass pilgrimage to Anuradhapura, where millions of white rock pilgrims climb to the summit of Mihin Thale to the spot where Arhat Mahinda gave his first sermon. During this religious period of Poson, temples in the island are filled with devotees and pilgrims to mark this great event. Also, during this Poson festival, the selling of alcohol and meat are prohibited usually. Poson is an authentic Sri Lankan Buddhist festival. Above all, it reminds the Sri Lankans as well as the Buddhists of, about the essential teachings of Dhamma. Therefore, it is a time for celebration as well as a time for giving, caring of the fellow human beings and observing the meditative path as instructed by the Dhamma. As the whole human community suffers from the impacts of COVID-19, the Buddha's timeless message of helping each other and unity is more important. It is only if we get together, we can stop the spread of coronavirus and come back to normal. So, during this quarantine period, be at home, be safe and celebrate a memorable and joyful person together with your loved ones. Thank you. Have a great day ahead. Thank you, Chatani, for sharing your expertise and knowledge. Thank you, sister. It was extraordinary. Now I call upon Brother Musharraf to deliver a speech on social distancing. When you cannot change what is happening around you, challenge yourself to change the way you respond to what is happening around you. That is where you find power. A very good morning to all of you. I hope everyone is safe and sound at home with their families. As we are all aware of the current life-threatening COVID-19 pandemic caused due to viral infection spreads rapidly from person to person, resulting in the lockdown of various cities and countries all around the globe. It, it is the defining global health crisis of our time and the greatest challenge we have faced. And with the advent of the deadly COVID-19 rampaging across the world, suddenly intermingling with folks both known and unknown has become a huge no. As this virus spreads not only through direct contact with, the in, with an infected person, but also with the surfaces which are, the infected person was in contact with. This is where the term social distancing comes into effect. But what does it exactly mean? It simply is the practice of maintaining a physical distance greater than usual. Avoiding direct contact with people or objects in public spaces and also avoiding unwanted gathering places that might increase the risk. This leads to question why social distancing is important. Social distancing is a very essential way to slow down the spread of COVID-19 as, as it minimizes the interaction among people and reduces the risk of transmission. It also flattens the epidemic curve so that we could reduce the number of cases occurring at peak. But this social distancing only works if we all participate. By slowing down and preventing the spread of the virus, we will save lives. I would like to wind up saying, don't let social distancing lead to emotional distance. We might not be able to be with each other together, but we can always be there for each other. Thank you. Thank you, Musharif. That was very informative. You will now witness a classical dance performance by our junior prefect, Pooja. <laughs> Atari, emit batsina, batsina, Hima kandu ve 
ಹೆವಲೇ ಶೀತಲ ಹೆವಲೇ ಹಿಮ ಕಾಂದು ಗಟ್ಟಿಯೇ ಶೀತಲ ಹೆವಲೇ ಚಂದನ ತುರು ಪೀರಾ ಚಂದನ ತುರು ಪೀರಾ ಅದಿಯನ ಮಲ್ ಮುವರದ ರಸಿನಿ ಸಮಗ ಮುಸು ಕೋಮಲ ಮಲ ಪಾವನಿ ಗಟ್ಟಿರಾ ಪಾವಿನ ಗಟ್ಟಿನ It was a mind-blowing performance. Thank you, Pooja. Here we are at the end of today's assembly. Before we wind up, I would like to give this opportunity to Krishan to deliver the vote of thanks. Hello everyone. Hope you all are safe. During the three months period which we are staying at home, the school is trying its best to give us a maximum benefit. First and foremost, we should be grateful to our dearest madam, Mrs. Sandra Vanduragala, for creating this home school program. I would also like to thank dear sir Mr Ravinath Pirish for creating this lovely environment to study while we are staying at home. I would also like to thank our principal Mr AM Karnaratna, vice principal Dr Alex Pereira and our assistant principal Mr Rachman Fernando. We should also pay our gratitude to our grade coordinators and teachers for dedicating themselves for the betterment of us. On behalf of all students I would like to thank all of you for committing yourselves for us thank you and hope to see you all soon